and welcome back super moms in today's video i'm going to be talking about looking after your mental health and why i'm going to be taking a break from doing youtube <laughs> As always, please make sure you are liking, sharing and subscribing so we can connect with more mums and help them enjoy their motherhoods too. So as you know, I am a big planner, I'm a big organiser, well if you didn't you must be new to this channel because that's all I talk about. Because of this, I create a lot of my content ahead of time. It means that if something happens in my family life, uh, that I am able to stop everything and know that you guys are still going to be getting my content, but that I can still look after my friends, look after my family, deal with whatever issue is going on. Children are unpredictable. So I actually create a lot of my content two months ahead of time. I use schedulers and things like that. And then when it's coming in and chatting and comments, replying to comments, that's me live. Instagram stories, me live, that kind of thing. But my YouTube channel content is created two months ahead of time. So you're seeing this in November. I actually filmed this right at the end of September, beginning of October. Normally it would have been all done in September. But it's been a bit of an interesting month, which is funny because November with Supermum Society was meant to be Mental Health Month. And it is kind of Mental Health Month. We're taking mental health time. <laughs> and actually I've chosen that from November onwards that I will be stopping, well not stopping the YouTube channel, pausing the YouTube channel for a while. I love the podcast, I love the interaction and the conversation, but if I'm honest, I'm not enjoying being in front of the camera as much at the moment. And that's because I'm, I'm a little bit drained and that's okay. See, people think just because you have loads of self-care strategies in place and you're outsourcing and you're organized and you plan your time really well, that you're not gonna hit a point where you're really drained. Uh, in my family life, there's a lot going on and uh, we've had yeah, just a lot to deal with as a family unit and we're strong and awesome. Our little family of three is incredible and I'm very, very lucky to be in our little triangle. But that still means that sometimes things get too much and you need to take a step back and, step and, and take a rest. So I had a look at all the stuff. Basically with Supermom Society, it's me. I have a few little freelancers that do some of, some of the graphics, not very much, the most of them I do myself, do some of the graphics. Obviously we have uh, our lady, our special lady Jo that writes the blogs. We have another special lady Jo, we're all about the Joes here, um, who's my VA, who does a lot of the automating of stuff and things like that for me. Um, but we were basically probably what equates to two people. So um, Jo plus all the other little freelance bits and myself is basically like two full-time people creating the content of what a small office often would. We bring you videos every week, we bring you a podcast every week, we bring you a blog every week, and that's a lot of content to, to create. So I decided to have a look at everything that we were creating and looking at what was having the biggest impact, what did I get the most feedback on, which turned out to be the podcast, which conveniently is the thing I enjoy doing the most. Uh, so the podcast I'll keep going every week. Uh, the blog I'm dropping down, that there'll be two blogs a month, occasionally if guests come to me and it's a good fit and I haven't had to go to find them because normally I go and seek out the guests that I want. Occasionally I get guest submissions so there might be more than two if I get a good guest submission in but I will be creating the, the Supermom Society office will be creating just two a month and, and then the YouTube channel will be pausing for the moment. Um, my plan is to pause it for two months, for November and December, and then the first couple of months of next year, what I will do is I will use the YouTube channel to reformat the podcasts and put them out on here. So if you're not a podcast listener and you're a YouTube watcher, you'll still be able to get that content. That is my plan for the first couple of months, uh, so January, February, March of next year, and then to start looking at whether I want to redo fresh video content for YouTube from April onwards. That's the current plan. Plans do change. I uh, recently did a, recorded a podcast episode about that, which we come into you guys soon, about changing plans and knowing when to change plans and things like that. But that is the current plan. And this is all in an effort to basically, like, protect my mental health because things do get too much and they do get too busy and you do have to step back and think what can I fix and I'm particularly struggling at the moment because I've been ill for such a long time. I've had a chest, nothing major, 
it's not life-threatening but it's that extra zap and drain on your energy which means everything takes a bit longer which means it massively affects your time and and your productivity and that really gets to me if I'm honest it was six weeks of a chest infection and then this is my third week so five weeks of chest infection two weeks of cold and then this is going into my eighth week yeah eighth week so this is my third week of cold and it's feeling a lot clearer I've still got quite I feel like someone stood on my head and that really takes it out of you even though it's not hospitalization or anything like that um and yes I haven't gone to the doctor because I know there was a viral throat thing going round. by the time my throat had lifted I was like yeah it was viral so it wouldn't have been an antibiotic thing anyway and didn't I didn't see the benefit in allocating time to go to the doctors when I knew exactly what they were going to say was rest so I took a week off the gym and then that's made me feel really blue because I don't have the endorphin rush that I would normally have and I don't train on Sundays and even then I feel it I feel that I haven't worked out not physically but mentally and so having the week off was actually although my body needed it the my mind was not happy with that at all uh, so we did that um, and I'm, I'm like my third or fourth session back into training now and it feels a lot better. But it did make me think and I was thinking in the car earlier I was already going to record this video and just give you guys a bit of an update about the fact that there will be no fresh videos for the rest of the month and next month. But it was the fact that when you're ill we suddenly can be a lot better at saying no to things and cutting off things i put a post up on my personal instagram recently saying i see people trying to do the yes challenge yeah, i'm gonna say yes to this and yes to that. i'm gonna say yes to everything for a year or yes to everything for a month and sometimes the most powerful thing you can say is no it's a declutter thing if it doesn't fit in your life it doesn't spark you joy you should be saying no to it um but when we're ill we're much better at saying no and sometimes maybe we just need to put ourselves in that headspace of being like, if I was ill and like really struggling to find energy to do things, would I be saying yes to this? Because even when you're full of energy, it doesn't mean you should just say yes to everything. That's how we protect and maintain our mental health. And that's what I usually do on the whole. No one's perfect, but I usually do is I don't allow those things even when I'm at like optimum capacity and super productive and feeling fit and healthy. I don't allow those things to come into my life because I don't need them draining that good energy. I apply that same mentality but there have been a few things that these weeks of being sick have made me look at on my to-do list and go no nah, I just don't want to do that. I just don't want to do that and that was one of the the conclusions really with with the YouTube channel and that's quite hard because so many people on social media are bleating on about how bleating on that sounds passive aggressive are talking about how important video is and it is but I at the moment I feel like if I stop doing the YouTube channel and I'm not doing that so much then I might have more energy to come on and do more lives on Facebook and Instagram and I think at the moment that would add more value than me creating the YouTube videos that I then edit and format and all these things and write all the tags and what have you for it and um, I just don't feel like that is an exceptional use of my time at the moment and I want to regain myself uh, at the beginning of November I will also be going to the Upreneurs Conference and I use that as a big reset and reevaluate and have a look at the structure of Supermum the structure is changing we're not going to have the monthly themes next year uh, there's a slightly different format coming out that sort of evolved over the year in my head of how I want to take Supermum forward and so that will be I'll be rolling that out in January so from November November through December I'll be working on that and getting that in place mainly in November because as many of you know I'm obsessed with Christmas and I love Christmas and so December is all about the Christmas stuff um, and then the beginning of next year I've got my pageant in uh, the middle of March which is why I'm not going to look at recreating Facebook um, YouTube content until after that because I will be on camera quite a bit and things around stuff for the pageant so that's why it won't be until the beginning of April that I start looking at whether I want to be producing video content in this format again I have loved the YouTube channel and I still love the YouTube channel and I love connecting with you guys but I feel like I'm giving better content elsewhere so I want to put my focus in on there and as I said this is a big part of just protecting my mental health 
So if you've listened this far, a little bit of a rambly one I'm afraid, if you've listened this far, I would love you to imagine that you've been ill for a long time and therefore your to-do list has piled up and lots of things have crept up. What could you just slice off it and have that mentality with your with your to-do list all the time? What could you just strip away, get rid of, not have on there in your life? Because that can make such an amazing and massive impact to your to-do list, just cutting things off we way too often let things creep into our lives, into our to-do lists, into our routines, into our habits that don't add value and are just detrimental to our time and our health and our energy and it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. So if you've listened this far, please go over your to-do list and start culling wherever possible. It's a tricky time of year. I find this Winter, I'm not a fan of winter. I like having the seasons. Autumn, where it's still sunny, normally I'm super productive and I think that's really not helped by being ill in a bit of a season that I do really love. I haven't been able to enjoy it as much and that sucks. <laughs> um, which means I'm gonna put more effort into enjoying winter this year. If you've got any questions, do pop me a message. Um, if you've enjoyed the YouTube channel, pop me a comment down below. It'd be lovely to hear your thoughts on the past videos, if you're gonna miss them, or if you're happy to rock on over and listen to the podcast instead. Uh, they are little voice, I call it my little voice of inspiration, motivation, and support, and I do sort of five to 10 minute episodes, so I keep them quite short. Uh, so you can listen to them on the go, on the school run, in between things, as opposed to the big long episodes. Uh, so I'd love to know if you're happy to just, you'll be like, oh, no more YouTube videos, I'll go and listen to the podcast instead. Is that something you do? You can find it's Motherhood Motivation and we're on most of the major platforms, but we're definitely on Spotify and iTunes. And if you go onto the website, it links through to those as well. There will be a little rejig happening on the website um, over the next like couple of months. I'm hoping most of that will be finished before this video goes out, but just in case it's not, bear with me. Um, it's part of my declutter and streamline sort of end of the year thing that's going on. Uh, see, even those of us that are super decluttered and organised need a yearly declutter too. Wherever I speak to you next, I look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood. And remember that being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be. Look after yourself. Remember, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again.